Friday night game at the NMAX Centrium had all the ingredients for a real burn burn, a real exciting night of WHL hockey. The Red Deer Rebels taking on the Calgary Hitmen. The Hitmen and the Medicine Hat Tigers each coming into tonight's action. Three points up on the Red Deer Rebels for first place in the WHL Central Division. So yes, if the Rebels could win against Calgary tonight and get some out-of-town scoreboard help, they would pull to within a point of the division lead. It was a season-high crowd, more than 7,000 fans taking in this one. Let's see what they saw. Here comes Adam Tambellini down the right wing. Into the red deer end to the right corner. Mahura peels it off his stick, but the loose puck goes to Rankin. Now five on five, coincidental's done. Rankin jams it in front of the goal. Sandheim scores! Travis Sandheim goes to the front of the net. He puts it by Ryland Toth on the stick side. It's 1-0 Calgary. Taylor Sandheim takes it behind the net. Pass back to the point. Thomas will shoot, scores! Thomas lets it go from the point, and I don't think Toth saw it. It gets by Toth on the blocker side. It's 2-0 for the Calgary Hitmen. Into the Calgary end, now to the middle. Here's Poli, he'll shoot it! Saved by Burke! The rebound, Burke covered it up as Kopech went to it. Hard shot by Poli, it was a rising shot that caught Burke up high, but he makes the stop. The Poli's now five on four, back to the point. Cote to the middle. Pass on the right for Sheen. He'll get it all the way across to Maxwell. His shot goes off a stick and just wide. Cote on the right point, keeping it in to Sheen. His pass on the left for Maxwell. Back to Sheen on the left point. He'll shoot. Score! <laughs> Riley Sheen lets it go on the left wing. It's a power play goal. Rebels cut the Hitman lead to 2-1. to one. Wheels it up at his own blue line. Now to Wyatt Johnson. Comes in, shoots it. It goes off the end glass. On the left side, Kopech scores! Preston Kopech! Picked that up as it came off the end glass and just drilled it in. Wyatt Johnson may have got his stick in there. Rebels have tied the game at two. Up goes to the corner, Ben Thomas pressured by Fazer. Fazer on the right wing to Sheen, to the left wing point, Cote. He'll shoot, SCORES! <laughs> Brett Cote with a shot from the point! Burke never saw it! And the Rebels with their first lead of the night, they're up 3-2. Puck goes down to the Calgary and Burke will cover it. There's Kanzig. Wyatt Johnson will shove each other and they'll go back and forth a bit. Now, now, now Poli and Kanzig. Oh, yeah, here we go. Poli and Kanzig. A couple of big customers. Kanzig's trying to throw over the top. Poli's holding them out. Poli wants to get the right free. They're waiting. Kanzig trying to throw a right. Poli, he's got him at arm's length. Oh, Poli lands a right. Down to the ice they go. Solid shot by Evan Poli. Him and Keegan Kanzi, a couple of real tough customers. That was... Helgeson still with it, though. Now to Karnikoff behind the Rebel net. Karnikoff will wrap it around. Saved by Toth. And the rebound comes in front of the net by Vertanen. Had to come off his stick on the left wing. Vertanen shot. Toth the save and he'll hold on. Good opportunity there for the Calgary Hitmen as they're looking for the tying marker. Fleury stops in behind the net. Little button hook. Oh, he got checked. Pass out. Here's Tambellini. Oh, and a great save by Toth. Puck into the corner. It'll go behind the net. And the Red Deer Rebels make it deficit to win 3-2 over the Calgary Hitmen here tonight and pull within one point of the Hitmen in the Central Division. There you have it, 3-2. The Red Deer Rebels skating to an all-important victory and they indeed do pull within one point of the Calgary Hitmen and the Medicine Hat Tigers for the Central Division lead. Medicine Hat losing tonight 7-1 to Kootenai. GM and head coach Brent Sutter says yes, they did have to pull up their socks after a rough first period. We had to respond after the way we played the first period. I mean, it's, uh, 
you know, we did a lot of chasing and we chased the game in the first period and, uh, you know, they get they dictated a lot of the play. And, you know, we had to get back on our toes. We were just on our heels. We weren't playing like we were capable of playing. And, you know, we had a little talk about after the first period about, you know, what are we as a team and how we have to play. And, you know, and we, we picked our work at the cup and we got more engaged in the game and we started skating and started moving pucks better and putting more pucks towards the net. And, Drew some penalties and we scored some goals. So, you know, and then in the third period, it was, uh, you know, it was a battle. It was like playoff hockey. PK did a great job. You know, they, you know, they got some, you know, fairly dynamic players, and you got to be able to do a good job against them, and you got to got have good awareness and strong on pucks. And I thought our penalty killing was uh, was very good tonight, and then obviously our power play gets a couple goals, so it was massive. And Riley Sheen, man, what can you say about him? He's really put this team on his back over the last couple of weeks and has been playing his best hockey as a Rebel. Well, I think that uh, we just knew we had to stick to it. I mean, we haven't had a lot of confidence against this Calgary team, and it's been a good rival for a couple of years. I know here in Red Deer, but we just knew that uh, if we came in in the second and regrouped and, and stayed strong, we know we could, we could get a couple on him, and that's exactly what we did. What were the keys on the power play for the success? Well, I think just sticking to what we've been doing. We've been moving, we've been running some plays, and, and really movement's the, the key to a good power play. I think uh, shooting the puck, and when you got a big guy like Poles in front, he takes up a, a lot of the vision for the goalie. So uh, if you can get it upstairs, chances are it's going in. What, the, what was the feeling like after the opening 20 for you guys? Well, it's never easy coming in with a 2 nothing loss, especially when you play an incredibly sloppy period like that. And uh, But like I said, we just knew we had to stick through it. We got a resilient group, and... Uh, it was good to come on on top. So there you have it. The Rebels making things interesting as we enter the final week of the regular season here in the Western Hockey League. Rebels sitting at 84 points. Calgary and Medicine Hat both at 85. So there is, yes, still a chance the Red Deer Rebels could win the Central Division pennant in the regular season. Another nice win for Rylan Toth. Scott Fazer finds the score sheet again with an assist tonight. And again, Riley Sheen, he's been the best Rebel on and off the ice. You can see how he carries himself. He's been an absolute leader for this Red Deer Rebels hockey club as they enter a Saturday night game versus the Kootenai Ice, the team that they've put a lot of distance between them and themselves for the third spot here in the Central Division. Kootenai coming in after that big 7-1 win over Medicine Hat on Friday night. It'll be another charged up atmosphere here at the NMAX Centrum. And you can tune in right here, 24-7 reddeer.ca for all the highlights.